What's up guys, it's Joseph, and this is my Grand Power Strybog SP9A3S. This one's from Palmetto State Armory when they had a really good deal uh, with the included PDW brace. I added a Holosone 510C, and then this is a Caw Valley Precision 3 lug muzzle device. If you're not familiar with these, this is a 9mm. The 3 means that it has the roller delayed instead of a direct blowback system like the other Strybogs. And then the S means this has the five inch barrel instead of the eight inch barrel. So I got to shoot about a hundred rounds, a uh, mix between 115 grain and 147 grain. And that was suppressed and unsuppressed. About 50 of those rounds were with this Fiocchi 147 grain round nose. The Fiocchi ran perfectly. My only two failures were failures to feed. And that was with this Freedom Munitions 147 grain XTP. I believe those malfunctions might've been because in this Freedom Munitions cartridge the bullet isn't seated quite deep enough compared to like a real hornady xtp bullet i mean cartridge you can see that the bullet is like sticking up a little bit on the left one i'll find out once i take these to the range and see if how these cycle to see whether maybe it's just the xtp bullet that the strybog doesn't like or it's just this defective ammo so first impressions are that the sp9 a3s shoots very nice not as soft as my banshee with a five inch barrel but I do believe that the roller delayed blowback makes this softer shooting than the BNT APC9K that I used to own. Uh, speaking of which, I did sell the Scorpion that was on my channel before. I saw a lot of videos where the Scorpion had dangerous out of battery detonations, so I wanted to, yeah, not have that one anymore. <laughs> and uh, anyway, about this, I've really liked it so far. I really like how everything is ambi, so like mag release. Uh, bolt release, mag release, bolt release, safety on both sides. The trigger is pretty good. I measured it at five and three quarter pounds, but it feels lighter for some reason. The grip is a little too flat. Like it reminds me of the BNT flat grip, but at least on the BNT, you could swap it. So I much prefer the Magpul K2 or the B5 Type 23. Out of the box, the charging handle was really stiff. So before I even took it to the range, I racked it about probably 200 times, so now it's like pretty easy. Like it out of the box it was way harder than that. And the brace was really stiff, or I mean hard to pull out, like out of the box. And so that took maybe about like 200 times of pulling this out to get it to smoothen out. So now it works, and now you just press the button back here to get that back in and get a very compact package. And just a heads up, if you use a collapsible Grand Power brace, you will get a little bit of wear on this uh, plate. You can see right, that shiny spot is where the bar drags across that plate. And I just noticed that this screw is working itself out. Uh, yeah, it should be like that. One weird thing that did happen was when I used this Octane 9 2.0 and uh, I was shooting for groups at 25 yards. And with any of the 147 grains, the group was about a foot. And I think that might be because of the ratio between like this suppressor and the barrel, which is only five inches. And the same thing happened with my BNT. Whenever I put like a long suppressor on it, in that case, it was the, the long uh, Omega 36M, the groups would get, get huge. I did get a group with the suppressor, but that was with Blazer 115 grain. And that group was like about three inches, about 25 yards. And those groups were just with resting on my hand uh, on top of this ammo box. Yeah, next time I'm gonna try this short uh, Omega 36M to shoot for groups and hopefully that improves them. Uh, I forgot to mention it does come with three magazines uh, right here. This is just 25 rounds just because they are super stiff. So like, I can't even get it to click with the bolt close. Uh, let me lock it. So just pull it back, lift that up. So locked in. And uh, yeah, just 25 rounds because the spring is so stiff right now. And the Strybog also comes with these polymer flip-up sights. And I've seen other videos where they came with an extra set in the case, but I didn't get those. I just got this one set. So next time I will shoot for groups again, and that'll either be with this AAC 147 grain or the Fiocchi 147 grain, just because those are two of my favorite 147 grains since they have the round nose. And then I'll definitely test out some hollow points like the Hornady Subsonic 147 grain and the Winchester 147 grain, just because these are a lot cheaper. So yeah, that's about it on the SP9A3S. 
Oh, it did come with this thread protector. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave those down below so I can get back to you. Like, subscribe, and share, and then I'll talk to you guys next time.